Welcome to another edition of Lloyd's Music Reviews Podcast. I'm your host, Lloyd Rectorash. Every week, we take an in-depth look at some great artists and their albums that, I believe, are truly exemplary examples of what many of us like to call music. And this week, we will be reviewing an album suggested to us by a listener of the program, who just so happens to be a longtime supporter of this podcast as well. So, that kind of tells you what paying me $9 a month will get you. Before we delve into this rather quirky album, though, I wanted to take a moment to thank our sponsor. Overpriced Meals in a Cardboard Box Now, if you're like me, and I'm sure you wish you could be, then you probably hate the idea of mixing with the yokels at the local supermarket or stopping for a quick meal at one of the greasy fast food places. That's why I love overpriced meals in a cardboard box. Every week, I get a bunch of food items stuffed in a cardboard box with some instructions on how to make some kind of somewhat edible concoction out of it. I don't know what I'm doing most of the time, but it all costs me an arm and a leg every week so it must be good, or at least, good for me. Right? I ate a kumquat last week. What the hell is that? Anyway... Visit my friends at Overpriced Meals in a Cardboard Box and get a 20% discount on your first month food items, which isn't really a lot considering how expensive it is, but it is good for you and you might eat something exotic or possibly illegal. Who knows? I would also like to thank our newest sponsor, Herbal Supplements. They are a great company that packs a bunch of unidentifiable and unregulated herbs into a small, minty fresh lozenge, which you can pop into your mouth and roll around with your tongue until your co-workers complain about your lewd and lascivious facial gestures. Supple mints may be helpful with your digestion, eczema, arthritis, and gout, but probably not. Studies have shown that just one lozenge a day can cure toe fungus, meningitis, and measles, but there is absolutely no other proof of that, and those studies may have all just been made up. Regardless, Chances are that they won't kill you, but will leave your breath minty fresh all day. Just keep a close eye on a light green froth that sometimes forms in the corners of your mouth. And now, a word from our longtime sponsor, Scrotal's Hair Waxing Kit for Men. Every month, Scrotal sends you a box of wax pads that you simply place in your microwave for 5 seconds, and then apply anywhere on your body that you have unsightly hair growing. Wait a few seconds and then rip off. Tired of your eyebrows? Remove them easily with a scrotal pad. Want to clean up your nether regions? No problem. Scrotal is easy to use and quite effective. The pads come in several sizes, so nose and ear hair are easy to remove. A collection of aloe vera infused creams and ointments are included with each shipment for soothing relief after every application and to mitigate the pain of possible third-degree burns if you happen to leave the pad in the microwave too long. Order today and get a handcrafted cherry-flavored wooden stick to bite down on during the excruciatingly painful process of ripping the pads off. As the scroll jingle says, taint nothing but a G-thang baby. The record I'm reviewing today is from a 60s group by the name of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band, which is quite a long name, and probably didn't fit on many marquees back then. As far as I know, this is their only album, though I did find some mention of a movie made in the 70s. I can't tell if the band consists of the four main characters on the cover, or was a group effort with all the other people shown. They certainly had quite a few famous friends. The music itself has a very distinct psychedelic sound, and certainly recalls the sounds of the 60s, with other styles as well, such as rock, orchestral passages, musical influences from the 30s and 40s, and Indian rhythms and instruments interjected into the mix as well. Not a bad first album. It is unfortunate that they never made another. I give it four stars. Thanks for watching. Next week, I'll be reviewing Pink Floyd, an album made by a group called The Dark Side of the Moon. I can't wait. It should be a great time. Make sure you like, subscribe, and visit our Patreon account as well as the websites of our sponsors. Until we meet again, friends, keep rocking.